Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com. In this video, I'm going over a staggered wheel and tire setup of a 20 by nine inch wheel with a 275 40R20 tire up front and a 20 by 10 inch wheel with a 315 35R20 tire in the rear for all 2011 and newer Dodge Chargers. I'll go over what a staggered setup is, who this setup is ideal for, fitment in the wheel well area, and then finally what to expect when driving with this setup on your Charger. Now, if you didn't know, a staggered wheel and tire setup on a Charger is when the rear wheels are slightly wider than the front wheels. Now, this does allow you to run a wider tire in the back, as opposed to a square setup that has the same size wheel and tire on all four corners. Now, staggered setups are very popular with Charger owners, as you can see from these pictures provided by owners of 2011 and newer chargers at home. This staggered setup is ideal for charger owners who want a more aggressive old school muscle car stance with a wider wheel and tire in the rear. Now those wider rear tires also allow for a larger contact patch with the road, providing you with more traction. Now this is especially helpful once you start really pouring on the power with your charger. This setup of a 20 by nine inch wheel with a 275 40R20 tire up front and a 20 by 10 inch wheel with a 315 35R20 tire in the rear will fit all 2011 and newer chargers with a factory suspension or that have been lowered up to two inches. Driving wise, you can expect to maintain stock-like handling characteristics with no rubbing issues whatsoever. Now, one important note to keep in mind here, guys, when running a staggered setup on your charger is that you will not be able to rotate your tires from front to rear. Now, you can rotate the tires from side to side unless they are directional, and that just means the tread pattern is designed to only rotate in one direction. Now, if you do decide to purchase a set of wheels and tires from us here at AmericanMuscle.com, we do make it very easy for you to get these on your charger. Now, on our wheel and tire package pages, we have setups you can have mounted and balanced and shipped right to your door. You can also choose to have your optional TPMS sensors installed. Now, if you didn't know, TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System, and this just basically alerts you whenever your tire pressure is a bit low. Now, if your Charger's stock tires did come equipped with TPMS sensors from the factory, well, you will need to pick a set of these up with your new wheels and tires, otherwise you will see a warning light on your dash. Now, to ensure proper installation of your new wheels, we do recommend picking up a set of aftermarket 14 mil by 1.5 lug nuts to fit the smaller lug holes found in most aftermarket wheels. And of course, you can find those here on the site. And at that point, just simply have a jack, lug wrench, and some elbow grease ready, and you'll have these on your car in no time. As always, guys, if you have any questions about this setup for your charger at home, you can always call our customer service number to speak with one of our wheel and tire specialists. Again, this staggered wheel and tire setup of a 20 by nine inch wheel and 275 40R20 tire up front, and a 20 by 10 inch wheel with a 315 35R20 tire in the rear for the 2011 and newer Dodge Chargers is very popular with charger owners who want more of that muscle car stance with the wider wheels and tires in the rear. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos like these and tons of other product review and install videos right here at AmericanMuscle.com.